have a little bit of a saga to tell you guys, and I'm looking forward to telling you everything. So before we get started, I actually have to show you how this started. And like many things that are terrible and involve VTubers, it started on 4chan. Now 4chan, without a doubt, is a hell pit. You think Twitter's bad? Okay, well now imagine Twitter, except you can't get reported. And unsurprisingly, it kind of turns into a baseless rumor mill a lot of the times. Like for example, I just opened up 4chan and uh, went to a random page. Apparently now there's a rumor going on that Marine is leeching off of Gura for attention. Why is she always so nice to Gura? Why is she being so attentive? And then there's arguments, no, 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 Ami is Gura's biggest leech. There's a whole thread about who's the biggest leech to Gura's success. Like, oh my God, imagine being nice and friendly and collabing with someone else in your VTuber company. Shock horror, leeches. <laughs> so this is the sort of low quality information that you can find on 4chan. And while I was trolling through 4chan uh, like a week or so ago, I found a post that basically took Nina Kosaka and threw together a bunch of clips of her being slightly toxic and tried to make her out to be the worst human being possible. And one of the things they tacked onto this thread was the idea that Nina was being ostracized by the rest of Etheria and that all the girls hated her and she was being like pushed out of the group and like people were like intentionally avoiding her and not talking to her and that led to this clip here i, I think i can talk about it now that it's like almost a year it's gonna mm. be a year this week but basically i try to get etheria into a group call twice a week i would be like hey you know we should maybe talk we should like get to know each other before you know like we yeah. don't really know each other blah 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 they kept telling me that they were busy and they couldn't make the call and then months down the line, I found out that, like, the three of them would, like, voice call each other. Damn! Yep. Now, after hearing that little snippet from a much longer stream where Nina is talking about her experiences with Etheria, I kind of took it as just blatant drama bait, because it was framed in a way that Nina is this terrible person and that nobody likes her. That's the way this 4chan post was sort of formatted. So I'm like, all right, this is basically worthless. Plus, the events that she's recounting happened like a year ago. So even if it was news, it's year old news and Etheria has almost certainly moved on. So despite the fact that this is blatant drama bait and rats spinning narratives, you know who's not above spinning narratives? False, of course. And this is actually relevant. This isn't just me dogging on false. Him showing this clip out of context on his stream actually caught Etheria's attention. So the other day, right, I was on stream and I mentioned how, you know, when we first debuted it, we didn't really talk that much. And now we talk a lot and we're really good. And of course, I understand the internet's the internet. You know, I, I get it. Some people can take things oh, sometimes the way they want to take them. The only reason that I talked about that story on stream is because I feel really happy with how much growth we have had as a unit, how much growth we have had as Etheria. And I talk with you girls quite a lot. To me, it's such an uplifting, happy story. Always, mm -hmm. always take a grain of salt. When, when, yeah. I, when I, whatever or whenever someone says something, you know, there's different perspectives of yeah. a narrative and it's always mm. more, more, more likely like a cobweb of situations. The fact that we're on that guy's VTuber drama channel, we made it! Let's go! <laughs> really I know you do. like showed our anniversary oh, merch afterwards. Maybe next time you can show that first. Thank you also for, you know, the, the title was a little misleading, but but thank you for <laughs> But that's your job. So you're doing a great job, paparazzi. You are doing a good, a good, yeah. <laughs> Imagine being called out as paparazzi by Niji Sanji. <laughs> I would be mortified. <laughs> this is why I've moved away from drama as content on this channel because so often the drama is completely valueless and when I do say something regarding drama it oftentimes gets debunked later so covering it in the first place was a waste of my time I've actually deleted 
some of my more drama heavy videos from my back catalog because I realized all they do is spread misinformation and make it seem like the VTuber community is way more dramatic and toxic than it actually is. Anyone who is in this position should be aware of what you're covering as news because you have a responsibility to reduce the drama, not add to it. You guys have probably, perhaps maybe noticed, I have not been feeling very well all throughout this year. It's like, you know, maybe it's just time I just nail things down and find out what's going on with Nina Ma Nina Nisa's body. It seems like a lot of the times I felt sick, etc. were just a part of or a consequence of something else. So I've been, at least for like the last couple of weeks, working with my doctor to figure out how to deal with it so that, you know, I can be happy playing games and stuff. Am I leaving? No! <laughs> no, but um, even though I was trying my best, you know, just keep the stream going, I've reached the point where my body is just not listening to me very much. I really need to take a break. I just physically can't. <laughs> Especially recently, you know, I was like, you know, I feel, I feel a little bit better. Like, I'm gonna do my best, you know, happy on stream, etc. But um, after streams, I was just so tired. I couldn't even get like the basic stuff I need to do every day. Now. And. I think when it comes to having your heart being all over the place, it really exhausts your entire body. It's basically like the uh, like the power supply, you know? Is it like the power supply? It's kind of like the power supply. <laughs> your power supply is lacking, your PC is gonna suddenly turn off and stuff. So to abbreviate a three hour stream, basically, Ina has heart problems, and while she's not graduating, she's not dying, Nothing too dramatic is happening. She does need to take a short break just so she can rest and recover. I wish Nina nothing but the best and I wish her a speedy recovery. And I know sometimes on this channel, I sound kind of flippant and sarcastic, but I do genuinely hope that Ina gets better and I do feel bad for her current situation. It's probably a lot more painful for her than she's letting on. So since she's probably struggling, I think now would be a great time for everybody to send her some uh, well wishes and some get well soons. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. I remember Depressed Nusagi covering the topic of Hollow EN and Niji Sanji EN not being able to collab for some reason. And there were a lot of theories that he discussed, but either something has changed or those theories did not have any merit because we've got Regis Altair and Albin Knox collabing. I'm very excited. I love both of these creators. I'm sure it's gonna be an absolute blast. So not only am I excited for this stream, I'm also just really happy that the rats are wrong. People spinning narratives are full of shit. <laughs> it's always a good day when the rats are wrong. In Twitch news, a streamer jumped into a foam pit at TwitchCon and broke their back. Now, anyone who has followed this channel for the past couple weeks knows that I absolutely love taking dunks on Twitch, but it's hard to be excited about taking a dunk on Twitch because it looks like someone genuinely got hurt. Let's watch! Oh, oh my god! Big sympathy sense of her own! You good? Great victory there. So the streamer in question was Adriana Chechik. So apparently she landed on her tailbone and broke it to be specific. And she wanted to give a shout out to the EMT who was uh, off duty, realized how badly she was injured. He kept her still and kept her calm until others got there. 
And apparently this is not the first time this has happened, as a different streamer dislocated her knee in the foam pit. I think people should really stop jumping in that foam pit because it looks like that foam isn't deep enough to cushion a high fall. This is just a concrete floor beneath a couple layers of foam cubes. This is not a good idea. This pit is just one big lawsuit waiting to happen. But that is all the news I have for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought in the, in the comments down below below. Bye!